Oracle Date Format. A date data type stores date and time to the second in the Oracle database. For example, 16th of October 2013, 9.15 and 21 seconds a.m. It's stored in the Oracle as a date and it's viewed in the client application as a text value, so if using Oracle SQL Developer or SQL Plus. Now the default date format for Oracle is dd-mon-yyyy. Now the letters in this indicate what part of the value is displayed and in what format. So what this example means, the two characters for the day number, which is dd, and then a dash, and then three characters for the abbreviated month name, which is mon, and then another dash, and then four characters for the year. To display a date in a different way, we need to use a format mask. A format mask is a specific code that changes the way the data is displayed to you. It's kind of like a real mask. It's still the same thing underneath, it just looks different. So as we've seen, we have letters that are used for various parts of the date value to display different things. We've got a few examples of years. So the word Y-E-A-R for year is the actual year spelled out in words. Four Ys is the year in four digits. We also have three Ys, two Ys or one Y, which is the year in three or two or one digit. If we have I and then three Ys, which is the year in four digits based on an ISO standard. We also have I and then two Ys, I then one Y, or just I by itself, which is ISO standard year in three, two or one digits. The code of four Rs accepts a two digit year, but returns a four digit year. So if the value provided is zero to 49, it displays 2000 to 2049. If the value is 50 to 99, it'll display 1950 to 1999. The date formats for month include the letter Q, which is the quarter of the year, which is 1 to 4, where January to March is 1. MM is the month, 1 to 12. MON is the abbreviated name of the month. The word month is the actual name of the month. And RM is the Roman numeral month, from I to XII. Some date formats for a week include WW, which is the week of the year, so 1 to 53. The week 1 starts on the first day of the year. A single W is the week of the month where the week starts on the first day of the month, or so 1 to 5. IW is week of the year, 1 to 52, based on the ISO standard. Date formats for the day include a capital D for day of the week, which is 1 to 7. The word day is the name of the day. Two Ds indicate the day of the month, so 1 to 31. Three Ds indicate day of the year, which is 1 to 366. DY is the abbreviated name of the day. J is Julian Day, which is the number of days since January 1, 4712 BC. So date formats for hours, minutes and seconds include two H's for the hour of the day, HH12 for another hour of the day in 12 hour format, and HH24 for hour of the day in 24 hour format. MI stands for minute, SS stands for second, and five S's stands for seconds past midnight. FF stands for fractional seconds, you need to include a number after the FF to indicate the digits, so FF2 is 2 fractional seconds. Date formats for meridian and time zone. So AM or PM indicates the meridian, which is AM or PM. AD and BC indicate AD and BC respectively. TZD indicates daylight savings time zone. TZH is time zone hour. TZM is time zone minute. And TZR is time zone region. Let's have a look at some examples. So let's have a look at some date format examples. In all of these queries, we're going to be selecting the sys date, which is the current date, as well as performing the to char function on the sys date with various formats to see what will come up. So if you run these queries, you'll get slightly different values, but the formats should be the same. The first query selects sys date and to char sys date using the year format. If I select this and run the query by going to run statement, it will show me two columns. The first column is the sys date, and today happens to be the 25th of October 2013. The next column will show the output of that two char function using the YEAR or year format mask. This will actually output the name of the year fully spelt out. In this case, it's the word 2013. The next query shows the sys date as well as two char sys date using the format MON and then space and then four Ys. If I was to run this query, by using the same method, it will show me the sys date as well as that sys date in a different format. It will show the MON, which is the abbreviated name of the month, in this case OCT, then a space, 
and then 4Ys actually stands for the year, in this case 2013. The next query, select SysDate and then 2char SysDate and then inside the format we have DD which is two letters for the day, slash MM which is two letters for the month, comma, space, YY which is two letters for the year. So if we run this, we will see the output shows 25 which is the day, slash 10 which is the month of October, comma, space, and 13 which is the last two numbers of the year, 2013. The fourth query will show sysdate and then 2char sysdate and inside the format is a longer one, day, comma, dd, space, month, space, yyyy, comma, hhmiss. Let's have a look at what this shows. This will show the word Friday, which is the day part of the format, then a comma, then a space, then two letters for the day, space, and then the full month, which is the M-O-N-T-H format, then the year, 2013, comma, space, and then the hours, which is what HH stands for, then a colon, then four zero, which is the minute, then colon, and then one three, which is the seconds. Now, as you can see, this is the full date spelt out, but we've actually got spaces in between some of the fields. This is because the DAY format and the month format actually pad the spaces out to a certain number of characters. There's a way to remove those spaces from that without using a trim or an L trim or any other of those functions. What we can do is run the same query, but put the letters FM at the start of the format string. We only need to put it in once. We don't need to put it before every single different format type. If we do, it'll just toggle it on and off again. So if I was to run the same query with the FM at the start, we'll have the same result, but it's actually removed the spaces from the end of Friday and October to make it a bit more readable. If you'd like to learn more Oracle SQL, visit my course at the link in the description below or type in the URL on the screen here.